Hello, this is Mark Adair, and I'm traveling on business, and I'm coming to you from a hotel in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I'd like to talk to you about my digital identity. Uh, my digital identity is somewhat the same as my real-world self, but it does differ because I don't express my political or philosophical views on social media. Um, I don't uh, feel that in today's uh, politically correct um, society that we have um, that people can really truly be themselves in both worlds. Um, I tend to be more conservative and in today's very liberal climate uh, conservative views are punished quite frankly uh, and this is, can be proven through the recent uh, IRS scandals. I mean, I'm not a, uh, I don't belong to the Tea Party or anything, but I do consider myself a, a conservative. Uh, and I, I certainly wouldn't want to get audited because I don't agree with the president. Uh, my kids think that I'm somewhat paranoid, but uh, I think that precisely the conduct of our government Although it hasn't been proven that, uh, that they haven't abused their power um, through the use of domestic spying, the fact of the matter is that all cell phone communication has been made digital. And it's my belief that uh, this is so that there can be a real-time scanning of keywords. Uh, analog communication has been banned by the federal government and one has to ask why that's so that the analog communication uh, is a lower frequency communication and uh, because of this can go uh, great distances in fact the the Midwest there was a delay on the ban um, so they could build more towers because um, there was just too many dead spots uh, where analog communication communication just you know filled that in. Um, the simple fact of the matter is that having a an analog signal converted to a digital signal to run voice algorithms against it takes up way too much processing power, especially when you can take uh, a digital signal and do absolutely nothing to it other than run, run a, a voice algorithm against it. Um, it saves a lot of, um, it certainly saves a lot of uh, processing power. And when you're processing literally millions of calls simultaneously, you have to do everything in your power to reduce the amount of processing time um, that's required. I mean, it's just simple math. Um, because everything that you can, that you say or write down or um, have posted or whatever, can be used against you at work, I try never to say anything controversial against the political norm or social norms uh, because, I, quite frankly, I don't want to lose my job. Uh, companies are not democracies. They're very much dictatorships. Uh, and too many people have already found this to be true. And I don't want to uh, fall heir to making a, a, a simple mistake. I don't do a lot of social media. I have a LinkedIn account for professional reasons. Um, I do have a Facebook account to communicate with my family, but uh, as a rule, I never connect with coworkers uh, again because I don't want any negative feedback to make it back to my employer. I never say anything bad about my employer. Not that there is anything to say, of course, um, but I, I, if there was, I certainly wouldn't want it to make it back to my boss. Um, I text, but generally I don't text uh, with anybody outside of my immediate family. And if if I do have to text uh, with a, a coworker, it's you know strictly strictly business. Uh, after I graduate, I may decide to move to a different company, and uh, I don't want to limit my career because I said something controversial on social media. Uh, even a harmless joke can be taken the wrong way. And all I have to say about that is pff, life is too short and we all have to laugh. 
and that's my two cents anyway.